Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity launched in February 23. This one is an interesting list. I was actually really busy at the time when I usually start researching and writing these videos, since at that time I was just about to finish my free multiplayer course, so I didn't have as much time to research tons of games, but still I had no trouble finding lots of awesome ones. Again, that's great as a player, lots of awesome stuff for you to play, but it's tricky as a developer, lots of really tough competition. The reason why I make these videos is to show you everything that the engine can do, the only limit is really just your own skills and imagination, and the variety and the awesomeness of the games shown here really puts that to the test. All of these games are uniquely impressive, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. By the way, I'm currently working on my own Steam game called Total World Liberation. It's a game with tons of systems, open world, survival, crafting, automation, strategy. Check out the Steam page, add it to your wishlist, and follow for devlogs. By the way, right now there's a humble bundle with a huge 97% off discount on Cinti Assets. There are so many game ideas you could build with all of these. Maybe you could build a World War II shooter or a plane simulator with Warpack. Maybe a Lord of the Rings inspired RTS with this one. Then perhaps use the Gang Warfare pack to make some kind of tycoon game. Maybe make your own Left 4 Dead with the boss zombies. You could build something like Fallout Shelter with the Apocalypse interiors. Maybe make some kind of Battle Royale with the Battle Royale pack. Or perhaps a Souls-like with the Dungeon pack. Or really just prototype anything with the very useful prototype pack. Personally, I'm a huge fan of their low poly style, and if you also like it and you want tons of assets with a huge variety for a super deep discount, then check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with a huge hit, it's Sense of the Forest. This one is the sequel to the very popular The Forest game. It's survival horror with some base building, crafting and exploration elements. You start off by gathering some resources and build a shelter for you and your friends, but you're not alone in this forest, so you better be prepared to fight for your life. There are lots of very creepy creatures and some gorgeous but scary looking environments. Explore a large open world with changing seasons, which also affect how the world behaves. Survive alone or with friends in some nice co-op survival. It just came out and already has 70,000 very positive reviews, even though it's only in early access. Definitely a huge hit, they've already sold millions of copies. Then from that, let's look at something a lot more calm and relaxing. Here is my dream setup. It's pretty much exactly what it says. It's a simple, calming game where you just build your dream setup. Place some furniture and customize it. You can paint your walls, choose your computer, the shape of the room, and listen to some music. It's interesting how this has sort of become a genre. There are now a bunch of games like this one, like for example Unpacking or Townscaper, where the goal is really just calm relaxation. With 400 very positive reviews, it looks like this is a viable genre. Next, here we have a huge game. It's an MMORPG built with Unity. It's called Glory Evictus. The way they describe the game is Mountain Blade means Planetside 2. I must say that combination definitely intrigues me. Those are two excellent games. You become part of this world and take on various roles. So you can become a soldier, assassin, huntsman, blacksmith and more. Features non-target combat, so it's very freeform. Just like with Planetside 2, you have a huge world where you can control certain territories. Includes a player-driven economy where players craft all kinds of items and sell them in their own stores. Also has some classless progression. Every skill you use, you improve on that skill. So in all, the concept seems really interesting, although it does have mixed recent reviews, so apparently the 1.0 release left some people wanting more. If you like gorgeous 2D art and some mystery, then definitely check out The Pale Beyond. It's a resource management survival story game. Lead your crew on your ship, explore this world and gather enough resources for survival, keep your crew safe and fed. If you don't, you might get a mutiny as they show their loyalty to a different captain lots of decisions to make and an engaging story to experience. It has over 500 very positive reviews, so if you like this type of game, definitely give it a look. Then for some VR, here is The Light Brigade. It's a roguelike VR shooter combining both realistic gunplay as well as some light magic. The guns are very physical, it's always satisfying to handle a bolt action rifle, very punchy, very satisfying sound effects, and of course beyond the guns, you also have some magic at your disposal. Cast all kinds of spells for both offense and defense, you can gather some loot and find some new abilities. It's a roguelike, so you also have lots of upgrades at your disposal to make every run better. This combination of realistic gunplay and some nice magic really looks quite interesting. It has 250 very positive reviews, which for a VR game, that is an excellent result. Then here we have some magical strategy with Spellforce Conquest of EO. Looks like a very well made game, great visuals and UI, quite a lot of complexity, tons of interlocking systems, plenty of unique characters in a huge world. This one isn't really a genre that I have much experience with, so I can't really tell what is the core differentiating hook for this one. It just seems 
seems like a very well built game. It has 900 very positive reviews, so apparently fans of this genre do really like it. Next here we have a deck building game with something that I haven't seen before. It's Aces and Adventures. Nowadays there are tons and tons of deck building games on all kinds of genres with all kinds of rules. This one seems unique in that it uses poker rules. So it combines unique character and attack cards alongside regular cards. If you have a simple pair you can do some small damage. If you have four of a kind you can deal massive damage. You can combine a flush with an ability to do some really interesting actions. So in all a very interesting concept. And it also has some excellent voice acting alongside handcrafted campaigns and a procedural mode. With 600 very positive reviews it seems people really like this mix. So if you're a fan of card games then this looks like an interesting new take. Next here we have another one that also has an interesting mix of genres. This one is Corpse Keeper. It describes itself as a very challenging action strategy roguelike. Basically you control a necromancer but you cannot fight directly. So you bring some corpses back from dead to fight for you. In terms of games it's kind of like a fighting game. You encounter an enemy, summon your fighter and engage in a duel. Each corpse also has tons of stats that you can level up along with some very unique movesets. So it's an interesting mix of strategy and fighting game. Then here at number 2 is Plan B Terraform. This one was almost my personal pick of the month. It looks really awesome. You start on this barren rock wasteland and it's up to you to terraform it into a lush habitable world. Begin by gathering some resources to feed your first settlers. Then more colonists will join which means you need to grow with them. Use trains and trucks to transport them around and get to work on making this planet livable. Features a deep simulation of atmosphere, temperature, water and the forests. It is out now in early access which is perfect for this type of game. The devs seem very active. With 1000 very positive reviews this looks like an excellent new entry in the genre. And at number 1 for my personal pick of the month, here is Phantom Brigade. When I first heard about the concept for this game, I was immediately hooked. It has a very inventive timeline mechanic where you can scroll through the timeline and see what will happen in the next few seconds, then you can use that to decide how to move your mechs. It's a really cool idea making for some really interesting strategy gameplay. It is simultaneously both turn based and real time. Visually it also looks really great, I love the art style, some gorgeous giant mechs with a really nice sense of scale. You have tons of weapons and parts to equip your mech. Along Alongside some very satisfying destruction. This one has actually been out on Epic Early Access for 3 years and now it has come to Steam with the 1.0 release. It already has 700 very positive reviews. And what I mentioned, the word hooked is really applicable here since this game is being published by Brace Yourself Games. This one is a studio headed by Ryan Clark who has some of the best indie game marketing talks of all time. If you haven't seen his video on finding indie game hooks, definitely go give it a watch. It is no surprise that the game they have decided to publish has an extremely unique hook. I definitely look forward to trying this out as soon as I can find some time. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in February 23. I hope this list helped you see how the Unity engine is capable of building anything. The only limits are really just your own skills and imagination. Check out my own Steam game, Total War Liberation, and add it to your wishlist. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.